dear students how are you i hope all are fine i am also fine now today we will discuss elementary maths book page number 94 there are some words problem is given now at first read the question number 5 open your book page number 94 elementary maths book now Question number five. In grade of in grade two of one school, there are thirty four boy students and fifty one girl students. Which students is more than the other, and how many more? I repeat it. In grade two of one school, there are thirty four boy students and fifty one girl students. Which students is more than the other, and how many more? Now, open your copy and write down. Elementary math books. Page ninety-four. Question number five. The given question: There are fifty-one girls student. Now write down students fifty-one and boy students thirty. Now look at the board. Fifty-one is greater than thirty-four. That is, girls' students is more than the boys' students. Therefore, girls' students more than students more. Now we have subtraction, so we will give the minus sign. Subtract thirty-four from fifty-one. Here one, so I. Uh, You, you suppose this one is eleven. Now subtract four from eleven. Seven. Carry one. Three plus one four. Now subtract four from five. One. Seventeen. Now write down the answer. Seventeen. Girl students. More than boy students. The next question. <coughs> Write down. At first, you read the question properly. Yeah, number of girl students fifty one and boy student thirty four. We look at the board here. Fifty one is greater than thirty four. Fifty one is girl student. That is girl students more than the boy students. Here subtraction. That is we give the minus sign. Now girl students more. If we subtract thirty four from fifty one, then we will get seventeen. That is the result. Therefore, seventeen girl students more than boy students. Next question. question number six. Now read the question six. Rohim has fifty-six chocolates. If he eats eight chocolates in a day, in a day that means in one day. In how many days will he finish the chocolates? Rohim has fifty-six chocolates, and the given question in one day he eats eight chocolates. How many days he will finish the chocolate? Now write down question number six. Rohim eats 
एट चॉकलेट इन वन डे द क्वेश्चन रोहिम हैज टोटल फिफ्टी सिक्स चॉकलेट्स देर फॉर रोहिम इट्स फिफ्टी सिक्स चॉकलेट्स इन हाउ मेनी डेज एट चॉकलेट इन वन डे सो फिफ्टी सिक्स चॉकलेट या नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट इज इनक्रीज सो नंबर ऑफ डे will be increased now is divided 56 by 8 56 divided by 8 day now rough fifty six divided by eight Now you tell the timetable of eight. Eight one zero eight. Eight two zero sixteen. Eight three zero twenty four. Eight four zero thirty two. Eight five zero forty. Eight six zero forty eight. Eight seven zero fifty six. Now seven fifty six. Now we are subtracts. If you subtract, then zero. Not cross sign here. If you have an up space in the right side. The right side, then you show the rough in right side. If you have no space in right side, then you solve the rough in any order in the blank space. Now we get seven, seven. This answer seven days. Next question. Write down words. At first, you read the question properly. Next question: Seven numbers. Shuman bought a book of forty-eight taka and color pens of thirty-six taka. How much taka did he spend? Again. Shuman bought a book of forty-eight taka and color pens of thirty-six taka. How much taka did he spend? Shuman bought there are two items. One is book. Another one item is pens. For book, forty-eight taka and for pens, thirty-six taka. How much taka did he spend? That is in total. Here summation. Now we add this. Seven. Shuman bought a book for Shuman. Bought a book of of forty eight. Forty eight. There. Shuman Hey Rajiv Rajiv Hey ask us Hey baba how is it Hey you miss us Another item is pen. Shuman bought pens for or pens of thirty-six. Now give the line segment. Since total, he spent in total. Now we'll give plus sign. Eight plus six fourteen. 
फोर कैरी वन फोर प्लस वन फाइव फाइव प्लस थ्री एट एट्टी फोर टाटा देर फोर स्पेंड इन टोटल ही स्पेंड इन टोटल एट्टी फोर टाटा नाउ राइट डाउन द आंसर एट्टी फोर Not forty-eight. It's eighty-four times. Eighty-four. There are two items. One is book. Another one is pens. Now, in total cost, that is plus sign. We add here eight plus six. That is fourteen four carry one four plus one five five plus three eight eighty four taka answer eighty four taka. Now I read the next question. That is question number eight. Shobita has been reading a book. If she reads six pages in a day, a day that means in one day, how many pages will she read in one week? Now, you read the question again. Shobita has been reading a book. If she reads six pages in a day, there is a condition. She reads in a day. There are six pages. How many pages will she read in one week? In the in previous class, we learned in one week that is seven days. One week is equal seven days. Now I raise the board. Now question number eight. Eight numbers. We know one week is equal seven days. In one day. In one day, she reads six pages. Therefore, in seven days, she reads. Since number of days is increased, so number of pages will be increased. That is multiply here. Six multiply seven pages. Since uh, one digit multiplication, so there is no need to show the graph. Now six seven jar forty two. We will get forty. Forty-two pages. Now write down the answer. Forty-two pages. No more today. Thanks all. you complete your homework and send my maths group